Oh my God, it's here. Oh my God, it's here. LinkedIn stories, holy macadamia nut. Let me know if you see this, send me a message. Holy mackerel, LinkedIn stories. It's finally here. LinkedIn Stories has finally been released in North America. And if you're in other parts of the country, you're going to love this. Maybe you're new to LinkedIn or new to LinkedIn Stories in general. I'm going to give you an in-depth, you saw the screen share, step-by-step -step complete tutorial on LinkedIn Stories. So make sure you come on back. How's it going, Nez Nation? I'm so excited. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to jump into the screen share in just a second. But before I do, I just want to let you know that in the description down below, some of you might not know who I am. I'm Professor Nez, your personal branding coach, executive career coach, online business strategist. And I've been building my brand and business on LinkedIn since 2007. And on this channel alone, I have an entire playlist on how to brand yourself on LinkedIn, how to get your LinkedIn profile in order, how to really take the content that you implement and use it on LinkedIn to get leads, to get clients, to get customers, to get employed a step-by-step -step job search tutorial. I've got all that in the link down below. So you want to make sure you go check that out after you figure out how to use LinkedIn stories. I'm going to show you step-by-step -step in just a second. I'll leave all that below and make sure you give us a smash of that like button, AKA that thumbs up button, because I'm bringing bone marrow content to you every single week. You may want to even consider subscribing because this is the best YouTube channel on planet earth when it comes to building your message, sharing it with the world so you can earn more grow faster and stress less. Okay, I'm done. Let's get right into it. I am going to a uh, screen share right now. Let me jump on it. Let me get my glasses on because I'm old and I can't see a damn thing. So you already saw these are my LinkedIn stories that are kind of going right now. We're here on my phone. Okay, I'm just going to show you the the main screen right here. As far as I know, LinkedIn is only available on mobile so as of this recording it is not available on desktop uh, but who knows that may change in uh, future dates and i'll probably do a whole nother tutorial on that so again make sure you subscribe so if you haven't already downloaded the app make sure you download the app linkedin it's free uh, and on your phone, whether you're on iOS or Android, make sure you go download the app. It's completely 100% free. And then once you do, just click on the LinkedIn app. And now you're going to see I'm on my home page right here. And you can see at the very top, some of you might find this very, very familiar. You see those circles at the very top. You can see at the very top left-hand corner, I'll show you what that plus sign means, uh, but you can scroll through here and you'll see that it looks very, very similar to another platform. Uh, you know, there's stories on so many different platforms on Facebook, on uh, uh, Instagram, on Snapchat, on it really started on Snapchat. YouTube now has YouTube stories. So uh, it's pretty much everywhere. So a lot of you will find this very familiar, but you can see the layout. That's the home page at the very top of my home uh, screen on uh, my, my iOS phone, my Apple uh, iPhone. I have an iPhone 12 or sorry, 11. Uh, and, uh, and so that's where you can see and you can click on any of those circles. For example, if I wanted to check out this individual, you know, and you can see, click the X and get out of there. I want to click the next person or just go through and you should see people from your main connections. Now, I don't know what the strategy or what the orchestration, if it's in chronological order, if it's, if it's by relevancy or by people you interact with more, I'm not sure. I mean, I have over 20,000 followers, over 22,000 connections on LinkedIn. So I'm not really sure how LinkedIn has orchestrated this as far as who gets seen first uh, at, on your home screen and in the, in the, in the stories feed, but uh, you know, stay tuned and again, subscribe and I'll probably do some more uh, videos on that very topic, but here's how you do it. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, so you want to click on that plus sign right there where it says your story. Okay. And obviously you can see that that's my story right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of scroll down and you can see at the very bottom, you see where it says new story on the bottom right hand uh, corner of your screen. You just click on new story and then you want to obviously turn the camera around. Hi, you can see me. Hi, how you doing? And so you can see me recording this right now. 
Uh, not a very good angle of me, if I may uh, say so myself, but oh well. I, I do. I, I suffer for you guys. You know, I really do. Um, and so, and then uh, what you want to do here is um, you have a couple of options. So on the left-hand corner, you see that little photo icon. You could upload a photo if you want to. Um, you know, let's say you have some type of, um, you know, maybe a graphic, a quote card, or a thumbnail, or some type of a presentation, or anything that you want to really upload, or just maybe a picture of your day, a picture of your studio, a picture of, you know, pretty much anything. You can upload that. Uh, you can even upload videos too that maybe are pre-recorded, which is really cool for cross-purposing because I do see, I've already seen some LinkedIn stories have cross-purposed their um, TikTok videos and their Instagram stories. So you can do that. And I think that's very, very cool. So LinkedIn does give the option that you doesn't have to be a native recording. You can actually upload other videos. Again, it has to be nine by 16 ratio. And that is the cell phone ratio. Not basically if you're on your phone, it's this way. Okay. It's this way, not that way, right? So you want to be this way. That's that's nine by 16 vertical video uh, for stories. Uh, and then, uh, so I'm going to put this back in my holder here. And so um, this is how you create your very own story. And I'm going to walk you through this step by step and show you exactly how to do it. So that big gray button in the very middle, you're going to click on that and hold it. Um, it doesn't have, whoops, see, I clicked on it and it took a photograph. So if you want to actually create a story, and here's the cool thing, anytime you want to, you have the opportunity to check and see whether or not you want to um, keep that story or edit it or, or do another take. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I never do too many takes on my stories. I really try to keep it as natural and try not to overthink it as, as much as possible. Now, I've been doing this for a very, very long time. Uh, granted, but if you're one of those people who's like, you know, gosh, I don't like the way this looks. I sound like this, or I don't want to sound like that. And you want to take multiple takes. Don't feel bad about that. A lot of people do this. So hold the, so obviously if you just touch it once, it'll take a picture. But if you want to actually do an, an, a full on story, which is a 15 to 16 minutes, uh, 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 15 to, to 16 second vertical video, you hold down on that and you can see the red um, a timer right there as it's going, it's recording. And by the time it reaches back full circle, that will be the end of your story. Now you don't have to go all the way to the end. Let's just say you want to stop right there. You've done everything you can. And there it is. There's the replay. And there you go right there. You have the option to either share it with whoever you want to see. Okay. You can actually share it with who can see your story, anyone. And then at the very right, you see where it says share story. If you click on share story, that will go up to your circle at the very top. And then you, what you see here is you see this, you know, time bar at the very top here. Let me, let let me scoot back up. You'll see this time bar. These are different 15 second, 16 second stories. I'm actually not sure exactly what the seconds are. This literally just happened. I'm doing this tutorial. Literally, I just got access six, seven hours ago. And so I'm just so blown away. You can see I'm unshaven in the stories. This I'm wearing the same shirt. This literally happened earlier. Uh, and so I, I shaved just for you guys because <laughs> I want to look my best. I don't look my best in those stories. I was just so excited. I had to start recording some. So you're going to see those uh, bars at the very top. Those are the separate stories and you can tap through and go through. I'm showing, I'm going through a terrible leak right now in my house and then boom, that's it. And then when you're done, you can do as I think you can do unlimited stories as of this recording. And as far as I know, it's pretty much the same as Instagram or other stories formats where it disappears every 24 hours. So your videos do not last. And as far as I know with LinkedIn, LinkedIn is following suit with the stories feature. So that is how you use it. And, you know, I'm going to probably do a whole lot more. Uh, I'm probably going to do a whole lot more uh, when it comes to tutorials on how to implement this for your brand, how to implement this for your business. If you're interested in something like that, let me know in the comments down below. Say, hey, Nez, I would really love it if you could share your strategy. I've got videos on how to implement Instagram stories and how to implement stories in general and some best tips and strategies for building your brand and building your business. But if you want to see me do a very specific video on how to use LinkedIn for my brand, in business? What's the strategy behind stories? Um, I'll definitely leave a link to that Instagram stories uh, video. 
uh, in the uh, in the uh, it's a very long live stream. I go through like 14 best story ideas, and it really applies to this too, um, especially because that uh, video is all about the context of business and branding. Which one thing you always have to understand is when you're repurposing content, you don't want to just you know fling content from other platforms without having thought about and respecting the actual audience on this specific platform, right? A Facebook story will probably not do well on LinkedIn, right? I mean, a Snapchat story will probably not be the same as a LinkedIn story, right? It's the same thing with any other type of content. There's a completely different demographic, psychographic, a different type of audience on these different platforms, especially on LinkedIn. I hope you got a lot of value out of that. I hope you got a lot of help out of that. Please give me a big giant thumbs up. Uh, smash that like button down below. Make sure you click subscribe. Make sure you go check out these other videos because again, I'm bringing the heat. I'm bringing you bone marrow content, the best on how to advance your career, how to grow, start, and scale your online business, how to earn money during this pandemic, during this crisis, and any crisis really, how to earn passive income, how to earn $200, $300 a day online, all that and a whole lot more. Go check out more videos. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.